In today's video, we're going to go over all the different types of rewards that you're going to be able to claim in the season four update that we know of so far. If you find the video helpful or informative, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. The very first set of rewards that you have is a brand new weapon blueprint bundle called the Carbon Data. This brings in two different weapon blueprints. The first one is for the Ram 7 called the Mesozoic. It unfortunately does not have tracer rounds or a death effect. The second weapon blueprint in this bundle is called the Extinction coming in for the Longbow. And the rest of the bundle will contain a brand new large decal called the dynamite and a weapon charm called the fossil record in order to claim this you'll need to have amazon prime gaming to save you some time i'll have it linked down in the description simply go over there click on it get in-game content and you should be good to go the next time you restart your app you will have the bundle it's going to be available until june 20th this will be the amazon prime bundle for the first half of the season 4 update and then later on it's expected to be replaced with a brand new operator bundle usually it will be an operator bundle that didn't really sell all too well and will cost probably under 2000 no trace surrounds or impacts or any of that type of stuff anyways that is the first set of rewards that we have the next ones are going to be the brand new cdl league viewership rewards that just got updated starting on june 31st which is in a couple of days going all the way up until the 23rd of june every one hour that you watch a stream will give you a 30 minute double xp token every two hours that you watch will give you a 30 minute double weapon xp token and they'll keep swapping back and forth there's an unlimited amount that you can get which will definitely help you out especially for those of you guys who are trying to grind out the prestige cam that obsidian camel which i'll talk about later in the video this is definitely something you want to take advantage of but then on top of that starting towards the end of june on the 27th they will begin a stream and every single day that you watch the stream you'll get different rewards on thursday you have a one hour xp token at one hour one hour 30 minutes will unlock you an emblem at two hours you get a 60 minute double xp token and at two hours 30 minutes you get a brand new calling card Come back on Friday, 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, one hour double XP token. Then at one hour, 30 minutes, a animated emblem. At two hours, a 60 minute double XP token. And at two hours, 30 minutes, a spawn trap calling card. Saturday on the 29th, 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, a one hour double regular XP token. One hour, 30 minutes, you get an animated emblem. Two hours, you get a one hour double weapon XP token. Two hours, 30 minutes, a calling card. Then on the last day, which is Sunday on the 30th, you will unlock a one hour token. At one hour, 30 minutes, a calling card that is animated. At two hours, you get a brand new weapon blueprint called the Play Your Life. And then at two hours and 30 minutes, you get a one hour double weapon XP token. Anyways, those are all the viewership rewards you'll be able to get for the first half of season four. Following that, there's also going to be Black Ops 6 rewards that you should look forward to. As of right now, the only thing that was leaked is the fact that frank woods is going to be an operator as a pre-order bonus reward that will be playable in modern warfare 3 apparently with a new live action trailer that's dropping tomorrow you can also expect that there will be other in-game rewards once the season update drops a couple days ago for a limited time they made it available so you can get a black ops 6 calling card that was quickly removed around like 48 hours after they posted it you can expect that they're going to start tying black ops 6 into in-game events and in-game content with the season 4 update once they add everything into the files unfortunately because because the update has not gone live yet we don't know exactly what the rewards are but there's definitely going to be some sort of content that you'll be able to get and i'll keep you guys updated as you get more information on it the next set of rewards that will be available are going to be the season four ranked play rewards we have two different sets one of them is going to be for the multiplayer ranked play here are the challenges that you need to complete for multiplayer it says five wins in mw3 multiplayer you get a weapon sticker at 10 wins you get a pro issue renetti weapon blueprint 25 wins gets a break a sweat weapon charm 50 wins a goaded weapon decal 75 wins mw3 rank play season 4 loading screen 100 wins a season 4 veteran weapon camo and these are the photos that they provided the charms that you also get depending on the rank that you place and the animated emblems unfortunately doesn't look like there's going to be some free camos this time around other than that one challenge one rank resurgence has completely different rewards 25 kills or assist in warzone it gets you a weapon sticker 250 kills or assist a brand new loading screen 1000 kills or assist a rank veteran weapon camo Placing in top 7 25 times gets you a weapon decal. Placing at top 5 25 times a pro issue SVA 545 weapon blueprint. And placing first a death feat collection weapon charm. And depending on how high you rank, you're actually going to be able to get yourself a weapon blueprint, which looks like it's going to be for the Ram 9. And along with that, there's the animated emblems that you'll also be able to place. And all that will start at gold rank. Also, real quick, if you guys are finding the video informative or helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. The majority of viewers are not yet subbed. So don't forget to hit that subscribe 
subscribe button to help us on the road to 400k. There's going to be a couple of massive events in the season four update, and here's what we know about them so far. The very first one that will go live on the first day of the update is called the Critical Countdown event. This will be an event that lasts almost an entire month. It goes all the way up until June 26th. It says collect DNA samples from fallen foes to earn rewards and uncover the truth behind recent DNA bomb discoveries. And because it's a month long event, you can expect that there will be a new set of rewards that will unlock every single week. So week one, you'll be able to collect a certain amount to get a reward. Then week two, something else will pop up week three and week four and so on. And with these month long type of events, the rewards are sometimes really good. For example, from the Horde Hunt event, we ended up getting a free operator skin. And there should be another couple of rewards that will be included along with this potentially a camo, a weapon, blueprint, decal, stickers, and the usual. Also, second event that takes place a week after, this one is called the Mobile Suit Gundam Legends event. Embrace the awesome power of mobile suits, earn XP to unlock Gundam themed rewards, equip the RX 7A Gundam Zaku or Gundam Aerial skins for a boost. But because this is an XP boost event, it's not going to have the best rewards. And they actually showcase what that looks like on the roadmap. And it looks like the mastery reward is going to be a brand new weapon blueprint. And this is what it looks like. I think it may end up being animated. It looks like there are some glowing lights and a multicolor RGB LED light effect that they got. And then right under it says a large decal and it says Mobile Suit Gundam. Two other events were listed for the first half, but they have classified them. So event classified and the dates are redacted. And then the other one is also redacted, but the event starts from the 19th to the 26th and everything is top secret. So there's going to be a separate blog post and separate rewards for these different items. The next set of free rewards that we have are going to be the daily login camel rewards. We talked about this in yesterday's video, but sometime during the month of June, Call of Duty is going to be having a Pride Month package that's going to be available in the store. In this package, there will be a total of seven different camos that you'll be able to claim. They mentioned that they're all going to be available within one big bundle, so you don't have to keep coming back every other day to get a brand new one. It's just going to be one big pack that's going to be available throughout the entire month, and then you can come in and claim it. It doesn't look like the camos are animated, but they do have some sort of sparkling glittering effect, and they showcase one photo of all the different types of styles of all seven of these different camos. It looks like each camel will have a couple of different colors in each one. The next set of rewards come from a brand new feature they're introducing in Warzone called the Call of Duty Warzone Rewards. This is going to be a new set of challenges available in the challenge tab, which we also did talk about yesterday. And there's going to be five different sets of challenges you can complete. One called Economics, which offer rewards in return for looting and spending cash at buy station. Contracts, unlocking items for completing different types and numbers of contracts. Social, interact with enemy players or aid your team to secure more item rewards mode complete tasks in different game modes from battle royale to plunder or resurgence and the champion quest if a champion's quest is active in your game then there's going to be some challenges for that and each set is going to give you different rewards from my understanding the photo they provided was this animated camo that will be one of the rewards you're going to be able to get but because there's five different sets of challenges there's going to be five different rewards minimum. And you could probably expect that there are going to be things like not only the camo that you see, but weapon blueprints, calling cards, emblems, decals, double XP tokens. If we're lucky enough, maybe we'll see a free operator skin. Now, the next set of rewards come in from the weekly challenges. Every single week, there will be five different challenges you'll need to complete minimum in order to complete that week. And once you do that, you will usually get an aftermarket part. And they actually did show us what a lot of the aftermarket parts look like and some of the photos. I'm not going to go through and explain every single one of them because it'll just make the video way too long from the photos these are what the aftermarket parts will look like and what they will be for so the first one is for the fjx horus then you have one for the lockman shroud called the jack decimator then you have one called the jack thumper 656 for the rgl launcher you have one called the jack requiem for the 762 making the grand total of different aftermarket parts you're going to get this season a total of eight on top of that, once you complete all eight weekly challenges, there is a brand new camo that you unlock called the Sheer Modulus. And from the description, a ripple animated mastery weapon camo pulsating with DNA strands. And this is the photo that they have provided of this camo that you will get in the last week of the season four update. On top of that, while you're leveling up and completing these weekly challenges, we have a new level cap that goes from 650 all the way to 850. And by completing that, you will not only unlock yourself brand new calling cards for multiplayer and zombies, but you will also get a brand new weapon blueprint called the Death Swine for the SOA Subverter. It doesn't have trace surrounds or effects, and apparently it has four attachments. And that's going to be the reward for this brand new level cap. As I've mentioned in the past before, as soon as the level cap starts getting higher and higher, the rewards start getting a little bit better and better. And I believe last year, the level cap was 1,250 total, and you were able to get yourself an operator skin. So you can expect something very similar here. If you haven't been leveling up, I would recommend you do so if you want to end up getting that final operator. 
Now, on top of all this, we have a bunch of different camos that are going to be coming into the game, and these usually come in through weapons and other means. For example, the weapon prestige system that they introduced in the Season 3 Reloaded update, this is going to happen in the first part of Season 4, and this time around, the camo is going to be Obsidian from MW 2019. I did talk about this yesterday, and you guys corrected me in the comments, because apparently it says earn 200,000 weapon XP with that weapon to unlock the weapon prestige camo, and my idea was, because it takes 150 to get the one trick, you only need an additional 50. I saw your comments and you said no way Call of Duty makes it that easy. So I'm guessing you guys are right and it's probably going to be an additional 200,000 XP. So after you get the 150 and you unlock the one trick, you will not have to get another 200,000 XP in order to get this Obsidian camo. There's also other camos that are a little bit easier to get. We have the Car 98K coming in and with this weapon, there's going to be four challenges you can complete in multiplayer, each rewarding a different camo, four challenges in zombies that will also reward different camos, making the total Total eight for just the car 98k then we have the superior 46 which will also feature eight different camos then you have the spaz 12 that will also feature eight different camos melee weapon which melee weapons only give you two different camos bringing the total to 26 different camos just from these weapons alone and out of the 26 i would guess that maybe at least two of them would be pretty good anyways the next set of rewards that we have are going to be coming in as an exclusive for playstation and that is going to be combat pack number four unfortunately for like one of the first times ever they don't show what the combat pack looks like i even tried to go on the playstation website see if i could find it they don't showcase it at all i'm guessing with the future blog post and once the season 4 update actually drops we'll get a better idea on exactly what that combat pack is what it looks like and what the operator skin reward will be but usually it comes in for the same exact operator in this case it's going to be for lock pick along with that's going to match whatever the battle pass theme is this time around it's a green chemical dna bomb type of theme so it's probably going to be a green bundle and then there's going to be two different weapon blueprints that match Match that a charm a sticker a calling card and an emblem once we have a little bit more information i definitely got you guys with the video now the last set of rewards are all the different surprises that call of duty could bring in for example updating the nuke rewards i didn't mention anything about that in the blog post but they could end up doing it biometric scan the rewards should get refreshed and there should be some brand new ones more surprise content such as like the events that they talked about that are redacted random free bundles for example the monster energy bundle that blue one still has not come into the game yet and it's sitting in the files and it's not a bundle that is going to come in in the store. There's a potential that it could end up being a free reward, very similar to the last time they ended up releasing it. And then there may be things like more Easter eggs, secret challenges, secret events that we just didn't know about. But anyways, that is all that I have for you guys here in today's video. I hope you found it informative. If you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. A quick reminder, I did post twice yesterday, so check those videos out. One went over the early Black Ops 6 gameplay. The other went over all the animated camel rewards. So if you missed any of those, check them out. The link will be in the description. But it's been a butcher. I hope I'll be seeing you guys again. Peace. Thank you